undoubtedly the most powerful of all presidential aides. The late Abakiari was a man to reckon with. Shrewd, calculative, serious-minded, but with an amiable smile. Many who had come across the most powerful chief of staff to the president since the advent of the Fourth Republic, we admit he was not one to be taken for granted. The late Abakiari was appointed by President Muhammad Buhari on August 27, 2015, a few months after the 2015 general elections. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology from the University of Warwick, England. He is also said to possess a Bachelor of Arts degree in Law from the University of Cambridge, England, and was called to the Nigerian bar after attending the Nigerian Law School in 1983. In 1984, he obtained a master's degree in law from the University of Cambridge. He later attended the International Institute for Management Development at Louis in Switzerland, and participated in the Program for Management Development at the Harvard Business School in 1992 and 1994. The late Abakiari worked with the new Nigeria Development Company, New Africa Holdings, Africa International Bank, United Bank for Africa, Unilever, and Mobile in various capacities over the years. From Borno State, the former banker and ex-journalist has never left anyone in doubt over his huge influence on the presidency. As the chief of staff to the president, Mr. Kiari determined who would have an audience with President Muhammad Buhari, the memos the president would see, the mails he would read, and those not needed around the president, no matter how highly placed they were. Over the years, he is known to have had rifts with several highly placed political figures many of them soon to be kicked out of office. Notably among these include the former Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Ibe Kachiko, the former Head of Service of the Federation, Winifred Oyoita, the former Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Babatuni Fowler, and the current National Security Advisor, Babagana Mungunu. The only one that survived Mr. Kiari's acts. Always at the side of the president, many viewed Abba Kiari as Nigeria's de facto prime minister. Always seen with his trademark file in hand within the presidential villa, Kiari is regarded as an astute administrator with an eye for details, pushing President Mohamed Bari's reform agenda behind the scenes. One who has never appeared bothered about criticism, Mr. Kiari did a successful job in staying focused on the tax assigned to him by Mr. President. His influence was further confirmed when on August 21, 2019, President Mohamed Bari made it resoundingly clear to ministers and appointees of government to go through Abba Kiari in case of any attempt to see him. On March 30, 2020, via his statement, the late Abakiari confirmed to Nigerians he had contacted the coronavirus. Mr. Kiari says he was being moved to Lagos for further tests and observation and that he had followed protocols. On April 18, about 12.37 a.m., via a letter from the Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Dubari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, the announcement came that Mr. Kiari had passed away on April the 17th. It is clear Mr. Kiari will be sorely missed by President Muhammad Buhari and those operating within the corridors of power. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.